Hey friends, have you seen The Social Dilemma on Netflix yet? If not, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three important takeaways for us ADD folks and four key strategies that you can use to put yourself back in the driver's seat. We're recording, this is live. Hey friends, welcome to Hidden ADD, where I share with you the exact tools, insights, and science-backed strategies that I used to recover from undiagnosed ADD at age 32, where I was broke, divorced, and making just above minimum wage, to seven years later, happily remarried with a successful Fortune 500 career and living a life I love. If you like the tips that I'm sharing, hit the subscribe button below and the bell so you get notified. Post some comments below, join this community, and it's great to have you here. In the Netflix documentary, The Social Dilemma, insiders from Google, Twitter, Pinterest, and more sound the alarm on how out of control the psychological manipulation and practices that are going on within apps and social media have gotten. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three of the most important takeaways for us ADD folks and four key strategies that you can do immediately to put yourself back in the driver's seat. So takeaway number one, which I've already basically shared with you, but these social media apps, whether Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, have hordes of obscenely paid engineers and psychologists whose sole purpose is to manipulate human psychology and to get you to spend as much time as possible on the platform. Not only that, but they have sophisticated artificial intelligence algorithms that are looking at everything that you do and getting smarter and smarter at how to keep you on the platform rather than living your life. Takeaway number two, dopamine is the target for their psychological tricks. Now, why is that important for us ADD folks? Well, if you've seen my video about the brain differences between ADD brains and neurotypical brains, one of the key differentiating factors is that the dopagenic system, the dopamine system, the norepinephrine, basically these neurotransmitters that help us stay on track are dysregulated in ADD brains. At an oversimplified level, there's a shortage of dopamine in the ADD brain. This is one of the reasons that stimulant medications are thought to be effective because they upregulate the dopamine system in your brain. In short, we ADDers are always seeking and craving dopamine because we don't really have enough. And so why is that a problem? Because we are even more susceptible to addictive dopamine highs than other people. It's one of the reasons that substance abuse has been found by researchers to be 50% higher in the ADD population. That's the reason that I personally in the past have dealt with weed, alcohol, addiction to video games, and even in the past few years, got so into NFL and NHL that I was watching 30 to 40 hours of TV a week because that also gives a quick hit of dopamine. All of these things that give quick hits of dopamine are black holes for us ADDers. And in the strategy section, I'll talk about how we can break free of this. And the third big takeaway from the Social Dilemma documentary, let's say you managed to get off of Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or Facebook after a little bit longer than you wanted to spend on the platform because their recommendation engines and other tricks to keep you on the platform were so effective. But let's say you got off, you made it off the platform, way to go. Amazing. Boom. Takeaway number three is they have all sorts of strategies to get you back on the platform even when you're not trying or desiring to be on the platform. What's the primary way that they do this? Notifications. They even test the types of notifications that are getting you most likely to click. So is it a notification that your friend just uploaded a photo? Is it a notification that someone just tagged you? And they're gonna feed you the types of notification, maybe it's a birthday notification, that get you to stop whatever you're doing and click onto the platform. 
So I'm gonna give you in a moment four strategies to combat this and put yourself back in the driver's seat. But first, I have to answer the question, why is this a problem? This is a problem because as Grant Cardone says in the 10X rule, as long as you are alive, you will either live to accomplish your own goals and dreams or be used as a resource to accomplish someone else's. This basically comes down to you creating a life that you love or being a pawn in billion dollar companies goals. And again, back to us ADD folks, following through on plans and achieving goals is one of the things that we struggle with due to common deficits in dopamine and executive function skills. So we are at even higher risk of doing what Grant Cardone and so many other authors warn against of becoming a pawn in someone else's goal, becoming a extra in someone else's movie rather than creating our own movie and our own life. So now on to the four strategies that you can do to put yourself back in the driver's seat. Why does it take me so long to make videos? Cause I'm trying to put so much value in for you guys or cause I'm ADD. Strategy number one, create a keystone goal for yourself. Something that really excites and motivates you that makes you want to go get it. And to achieve that goal, you'll have things that you want to work on that are really exciting and motivating to you, which can then replace or displace some of the social media. So this is a concept that Dr. Benjamin Hardy hits home really well in his Wall Street Journal bestseller, Personality Isn't Permanent. And as a thank you for watching this video and for sticking around, I'll share with you a free cheat sheet that I created based on Dr. Hardy's book, which walks you through exactly how to create one of these keystone goals. What's a keystone goal? It's a one goal. It's a goal that excites you and drives you and that other little goals just happen naturally because they're part of the bigger goal. So what are some examples of some keystone kinds of goals? Well, if you're single, it might be to date or get in a great relationship. If you're unemployed, it might be to get a great job. If you're employed, it might be to get a promotion or to get a new job that really excites you. And what happens when you have these types of goals is then other little things like getting up earlier or working out or using less social media fall into place because they're in service of a goal that really motivates you. And as I covered in the ADD brain differences video, we ADDers need things that really excite and interest us for us to be able to generate sufficient dopamine to stay on track with pursuing them. Strategy number two, we're going to turn off notifications. We know that distractibility and difficulty sustaining attention are core features of ADD and leaving notifications on is like throwing gasoline onto a fire. For an analogy, imagine that you declare that you are going to not eat sugar anymore and then immediately every single day you spend hours walking through a candy shop. Are you trying to torture yourself? Having notifications on is like walking through a candy shop every day and wondering why you get distracted. Strategy number three, remove social media icons from your phone's home screen. This works for two reasons. The first is it breaks the automatic habit or pattern of you mindlessly hitting, hitting, opening the app. It creates a pattern interrupt that gives you just a moment of consciousness where you can decide. And then the other reason, which I covered in my how to build insanely good habits video, is that it uses our ADD laziness to our advantage by making something that we want to do less. It's silly, but sometimes just an extra second or two, an extra swipe, an extra click can make a big difference in our behavior. If you think it won't make a difference, try it out and prove me wrong. So strategy number four are use Chrome extensions that are designed to minimize the effect that certain social media apps have on you. So I'm gonna share with you two Chrome extensions. The first extension works here on YouTube. I wonder if I'll get in trouble for saying this. Oh well, I'm here to serve you, not YouTube. So the first Chrome extension is called DF tube, which stands for distraction free tube. And what that does is it can turn off all of the recommendations that YouTube tries to throw in your face. And instead, 
it gives you a clean interface where you can search YouTube for the information that you're looking for and you can find and select the videos that you want to watch rather than that the YouTube algorithm tries to feed you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get in trouble for this. And Chrome extension number two is Facebook Newsfeed Eradicator. This lets you go onto Facebook, peruse what you wanna peruse without being manipulated by the Facebook Newsfeed infinite scroll. How about you? Do you have any other favorite Chrome extensions or other ways to strategize and get out of the grips of the social dilemma? If so, throw them down in the comments below, share them with the community. So glad to have you here. And now for the free bonus, as I said, I put together a step-by-step -step workbook that guides you through two key exercises from Dr. Benjamin Hardy's best-selling book, Personality Isn't Permanent. The two key exercises that I invite you for free to walk through, I explain the concept and then I give you a workbook page, literally answer this, answer this, answer this, and it walks you through the exercise, it is to create your vision for your future self. So psychologists call this prospection. Basically your vision of your future gives you who you're being today. And the second exercise in the workbook is about creating your one keystone goal. The one goal that really gets you juiced up in the morning, gets you wanting to live life and wanting to take your life to the next level, whatever that looks like for you. So thanks again for being here. It's not lost on me the irony of doing a social media post about how to get control over your social media, but we need to use the tools that are available to reach people. And as they say in the movie, you need to sometimes fight fire with fire. And YouTube and the other social media platforms are not implicitly bad. There's a ton of amazing, educational, useful, life-changing, life-enhancing content out there. And I want you to be able to get as much of that and take that in as you can, but only for one purpose. And you have to keep this purpose front of mind so that you improve your life, so that you create a life that you love. And you have to ask yourself every time, is what I'm watching or doing or consuming moving me towards my goals or away from them? And so I want you to keep watching my channel on YouTube. I want you to keep watching other channels and consuming other content that's useful. I want you to use social media like a tool where you're in control using the tool. I don't want the tool to be using you. That's my commitment. If you got any value from this video, hit the like button, throw a comment in there, and I will see you in the next video.